Welcome back to our channel, the channel where you find the latest news, romantic stories and inspiration and untold stories about Catherine, the Princess of Wales and her royal family. Today, I bring you some interesting news. Catherine's iconic statement in a stunning tiara moment at a royal duty as she inherited from the royal family. Princess Catherine has become an outstanding role model for British young people with a loving heart, good behavior and family responsibilities. I could understand how she contributes to the fashion industry as a fashion blogger. She contributes significantly to the British fashion business by her fashion tastes and influence. When the present-day Princess of Wales wedded Prince William in the Cathedral of Westminster around 2011, she donned a debut tiara, the crown of Queen Elizabeth II's Cartier Halo Diadem, a beautiful jewel designed by King George VI during 1936. Catherine has been seen sporting tiaras at a variety of royal banquets following that time, including the Lover's Knot Tiara, built for Queen Mary by Garrard around the year 1913, as well as donned by the two women Queen Elizabeth II and Princess Diana, becoming her most popular. The Lotus Flower Tiara, originally donned by the future Queen around the year 2013, has become a different go-to jewel that Princess Margaret loved. Although there were certainly no tiaras at the monarch King Charles III's crowning via last May, instead Catherine was wearing a sculpted blossoms crown by Jess Collette and Alexander McQueen. There was certainly an unforeseen tiara moment involving the royal at Crown Prince Hussein along with Princess Rajwa Al Saif's most recent marriage in Amman, the capital of Jordan, during which she walked the lover's knot diadem once more. Let my memories transport you backwards years ago to witness how she made an impression with her sense of style and her embracing spirit. Catherine's initial tiara appearance occurred on her marriage ceremony day at the Abbey of Westminster on April 29, 2011, where she donned Queen Elizabeth II's Cartier Halo tiara. October in the year 2015 Catherine donned the lotus flower tiara, originally donned by Princess Margaret, a long paired with an embroidered red Jenny Packham gown to the Palace of Buckingham formal luncheon honoring Chinese President Xi Jinping. December the 8th, 2015, Catherine chose the lover's knot tiara, a cherished possession of Princess Diana, to wear to the yearly foreign reception, which is the biggest yearly reception hosted at Buckingham Palace by the royal family. She wore the diamond alongside an Alexander McQueen icy blue lacy outfit. The tiara, additionally referred to as the Queen of England's Mary's Lover's Knot tiara, was ordered by Queen Mary in the first decade of the 20th century to recreate the ornamentation of a 200-year-old Gothic-style tiara, possessed that of the monarch's grandmother, Princess Augusta of Hesse. In December of 2016, the Princess of Wales donned her Jenny Packham gown again for the diplomatic call, the reception desk, which this time combined with the lover's knot tiara, which Princess Diana memorably sported. July 12, 2017 The princess was photographed sporting the lover's knot tiara once more on her way home following an official banquet at Buckingham Palace, which took place during the King Philippe as well as Queen Letizia's Spanish official visiting. The following month, she donned the piece of jewellery to the year's foreign dinner at Buckingham Palace in London. She donned the tiara in a stylish, exquisite updo on the two occasions and matched it by wearing a necklace made from diamonds, as well as a matching combination of diamonds and pearl drop studs. April 2018, Catherine donned an embroidered white Jenny Packham gown accompanied by the lover's knot tiara to the foreign corps banquet at Buckingham Palace in the next year. October 2018, the monarch donned the lover's knot tiara once more for the King Willem Alexander and Queen Maxima of the Netherlands official trip, paired with a stunning Alexander McQueen pale blue dress outfit. 4th of December 2018, the lover's knot tiara was worn again afterwards the month at a dinner event for employees of the Foreign Corps at Buckingham Palace. It was at this time that it was paired with a beautiful white attire adorned with sequined and diamond and pearl drop studs. June 2019, Catherine donned an Alexander McQueen designed multi-layered white outfit accompanied by a lover's knot tiara to the palace's official luncheon for Donald Trump, the President of the United States. 
At the yearly foreign court dinner in December of 2019, Catherine chose a blue velvety Alexander McQueen outfit featuring her favourite lover's knot tiara, as well as the Queen of England's second stunning Nizam of Hyderabad jewellery. The 20th of November 2022, the Princess of Wales donned the lover's knot tiara once more at the reigning monarch's first official supper, this time paired with the wrapped Jenny Packham outfit. 20th of December 2022, Catherine wore the lotus flower tiara alongside a Jenny Packham embroidered red gown to the previous foreign court dinner. June 2023, the future queen donned a different stunning Jenny Packham outfit, this time coupled with the lover's knot tiara, to attend the official dinner marking the Crown Prince Hussein as well as Princess Rajwa Al Saif's marriage in the Jordan capital, Amman. Therefore, she's only donned a crown of jewels 11 times during public appearances with a total of three models. Considering British royalty has rigorous laws regulating the utilization of brilliant headgear, the occasions when we get to witness these precious items are so special. Therefore, you see why Princess Catherine possesses only been wearing three times of the numerous tiaras from her royal treasury she reportedly possesses as an important position in royal family members who were going to receive her most desired tiara from the late queen. Catherine initially selected a crown of jewels at her marriage ceremony when she chose the Cartier halo form. Traditionally, tiaras represent an indication of relationships, said Andrew Harold, protocol specialist and ceremonial royal butler, to a report. Normally, they're typically donned by the newlyweds on the day of their marriage, or she may sport one for every white tie occasion afterwards once she's become wedded. Women raised as princesses under the British aristocracy, he claims, are able to utilize these possessions. Marriages, in spite of allowing tiaras to be officially worn, constitute an accommodation for the different criteria governing when the piece of jewelry can be worn. The moment in time, the tradition mandates that tiaras should not be used before 6 o'clock in the evening. However, weddings constitute an exemption, noted the author. This is the case why tiaras are only allowed for wearing at white tie gatherings, including formal dinners, based to the expert. The choice of whether or not about wearing a crown of jewels depends together with the acceptable attire of a specific occasion, along with the individual preference, the royal expert noted. These constraints could be the reason why, despite her official marriage in the year of 2011, Catherine did not officially wear a tiara until 2013, during every year's Buckingham Palace courtier's banquet. She donned the lotus flower tiara, which was one of Princess Margaret's preferred designs, which contains pearls and diamonds as well as is undeniably magnificent. The Princess of Wales wore the identical tiara to an official banquet honoring the leader of China in the year 2015. Catherine's favorite tiara, though, had been the Princess Diana's favorite, the Lover's Knot. She's being photographed donning it on numerous times, including the first time at the 2015 yearly foreign banquet, followed by a total of three years in a row at the identical occasion. Catherine decided to wear the beautiful tiara to premier dinners and Buckingham Palace meetings and banquets in addition of that special celebration. When I put this piece on my own website, several people commented on why Princess Catherine only wears three tiaras. One person stated, From my perspective, it's so exciting to watch Catherine, Princess of Wales, become Queen and Prince William succeed to the throne. It's going to bring in an era of monarchy and it becomes preferable to inspire the next generation to do the traditional way. I'm 78 years old and experienced a wonderful mournancy alongside Queen Elizabeth II. I'm forever grateful for what she's accomplished for England and the prosperity of the entire community during her time as monarch. I admire her for her unconditionality. Princess Catherine is the most suitable mournancy selection for the following generation. Whenever Prince William returned to Princess Catherine in 2017 following a brief breakup, he did so for his choosing. I believe that every marriage needs to take time to figure out who feels most significant to them. Alternatively, have you ever witnessed how Princess Catherine changed mournancy beliefs throughout her 12 years as part of the royal family? She has encouraged youngsters in England with traditional principles, family, tenderness, dedication and tributes with a loving heart. What I saw, I thought they were wonderful. There's absolutely nothing to question her about her incredible sense of fashion. It's wonderful and she's constantly stunning whenever she appears. 
you're able to observe that the attire she dresses in is not hers to wear. It's a silly comparison, yet it applies to the majority of Britons. Additional remarks, I hope William and Catherine are soon crowned King and Queen of England. I'm no longer in England, but my younger generation will follow the finest values that monarchy has to offer. Princess Catherine has earned the right to don more tiaras from Queen Elizabeth II's collections. I'd like to observe Princess Catherine wear the girls of Britain and Ireland until my time is up. Thank you for watching today's video. Which tiara moment do you enjoy the most? And which tiara do you think Princess Catherine should wear in the future? Does she have the right to inherit all of the crown jewels? Please share your thoughts and we'll say goodbye for the time being.